Okay guys and girls, please forgive the noise in the background, that's my washing machine, I haven't yet got myself an off-grid washing machine, but that will be coming, because I've seen one online that I'd like. Now, we've had Christmas and I've been getting myself a few toys, and I've got a few more coming in the mail soon. These are quite good, alright? This is a um, 3 AA battery powered headlight with 9 LEDs to provide the brightness. What's really cool about these things, I mean, yeah, they're, you know, they're anglable, they can fit them on your head and all sorts, uh, and they're incredibly bright, but what's really cool about them is that they only cost 99p each. And, of course, I've gone, on, gone over the overboard and got three. Now, these things, you know, they're seriously bright. I mean, seriously bright. And as they cost quite so little money, I thought I could, like, rig something up. As they're 4.5 volt each, if I rig these things up in uh, in series, I could have a array of spotlights, okay, with a lot of brightness. And I also thought, uh, wait a second, if I got myself a tub like this and I fitted these things onto the side with a bolt going through there, then what I can do is I can turn them so they can be up that way, bouncing the light off the ceiling or down that way, bouncing the light on, on to, or shining directly onto wherever I'm working. Have a cable coming out the top of the plastic jar or whatever. And that can fit it to the ceiling. So I've then got myself a ceiling light that can be very low power, very cheap, and um, quite bright. Now I've turned off all the lights inside and I've tested the brightness of these things. Okay, these things together won't quite provide the same quantity of illumination, total all around ambience illumination, as the 11 watt fluorescence, compact fluorescent light bulbs I've currently got. But if I got myself more of these things and made up a couple, oops, a couple of these simple arrays that I'm telling you about today, then yeah, I could probably do it like very cheaply. I can run it all off 12 volt, and that would be absolutely amazing. As I say, these things are pretty bright. Nine LEDs in each, so there's 27 all told. And so that's a good off-grid lighting system. And I could also rig them up in parallel via a 4.5 volt transformer. And I've got an old Sage and mobile phone transformer I was thinking of using and do it, run it off the mains if I wanted to. So series or parallel, depending upon what your source of power is. As I say, you know, these things are amazingly bright. I don't know if you can appreciate the brightness on this camera because it compensates for it. But yeah, that is some power there. So that's one form of off-grid illumination I'm gonna be doing.